and today we are going to introduce uh, our system of GD10 uh, at once. This is our main flame GD10, and uh, this is the power supply. This is the power supply, and this one is our switch box. Says 60 and uh, other things like the uh, electrode and uh, yard cables. They will use uh, 30 channels, 30 channels, uh, which means that these are for electrodes. And you see the electrodes had already connected with the cables. So the last I'm going to tell you how to connect with them. When flap is switched off, then you will see the power supply. First, let's connect the uh, flap with the switch, switch box. And this is the cable. So we connect the flap and the switch box. Here, here, as a port, here is the port. The port here is switch marked with to GD10. It means that this is the port used for connecting with the GD10 and the flap. Launch connected. This one. Okay. Inside. So it was connected with this this port. Okay. And the finish. Now it's also connected with the uh, left uh, people. People connect with the with the switching box. Here you see we have two. With also why uh, if we just use one piece of cable, we need to connect this one. No, it's okay. Let's connect with the power supply to the main flame. This one. This one. Here. So it's okay. We the connected rail. The rail should do automatically. This is the power input. See, two pieces. Right away. And the black one for negative and connected. Here. So we've got the input now we connect the output. This is what A. Here is also connect to this here. A. And the black Can you see all the connection now? It's already finished. Finish now. Let's start start a testing. First, you need the switch on, switch on the flap, and also you need to switch on the power supply here. And here first one. Self checking, yes, for self checking. After self checking, so we're going to set set up. You see, In this we have one fifty, three hundred, four hundred fifty. Now, because you see this testing ground is a small place, so we no need a very high voltage. So, the time we choose one hundred fifty. And then confirm. The confirm. That's the one. The last button. The last button. Then you see now it's start running. Power supply is start running. 150 or one 150 voltage. Okay. You see here on this side the digitum. Now it's already uh, start. First. Uh, 
you need this is a device this is a device here is the device and then we put this button to enter see here see the environment here you see you can see this this there uh, back okay if we check everything as well we start to press F2 to project so we start to set up a new testing here you press F6 here we choose uh, resistivity 2D so testing and then here you see you have so many choices you have so many things you need to confirm here the next one you choose the array type array type which you use here we have so many standard arrays inside so you choose what you need here we just choose like a, a Vena Alpha and here is also the very important thing is that it's, it's about the electro, electrode space you see, normally you see the, the space in the cable is 10 meters, 10 meters, so, uh, but you see in this ground, uh, the spacing of the electrode is very small, so we, we, we have tested it, it's uh, almost uh, 0.5 meters, so that's why we set here is 0.5. But if the spacing is not 0 0.5, then you press this button, you press it, then it come uh, come uh, into this interface. Then you, uh, if uh, for example, if the actual spacing is four four meter, you then you choose four and press it to, to confirm. And then after you press it to confirm, press F6 to save it. Then you see the spacing is becoming four meter. And it and it also. If the spacing is uh, five meter, you, pry, you, you choose five of them, save it, then become five. Okay, not we go, not uh, no, we go back to this course, sorry. Because the spacing, is, uh, the actual spacing here is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay, okay, save. So after, uh, after all the things have been set, so you press F5 to see to see the project. Okay, so okay, so you see, see it. You press the see it. After every after this is a task is a bench and here to show you create create this then the next step is a running our test you see you press F2 to enter this interface and press F4 for all electrodes then the will test the running R automatically Because you see, today we just uh, today we just uh, use the uh, thirty piece of electrode. So after thirty, then you see all the electrodes should uh, should uh, the open circuit. Actually, we didn't have that. That's why this system shows the open circuit. After that, you see, after all you uh, see, after all grounding R, you can check if if we adding grounding R is not okay. We can try to test the retest if all or if all the uh, connect uh, status is okay, then we start to 
uh, we're going to the next step is going to little detail little detail and uh, here F6 oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I think just a, it's a little slow thing you see it's going to test them automatically until to the, the testing finish here shows you that we have uh, 570 points in each test and here shows you the uh, remaining test time it shows now it shows you like around 11 minutes so if you, during the time if you have any other things you need to do then you can go back and just remember come back after 11 minutes later This is all the all the all the steps, how to connection the system, and how to start a test.